Hey, this is Al McGee with YETicket.com, where the film we're going to talk about right now called Boy Kills World. Uh, that title's very broad, but let me tell you about the story. First of all, this is Moritz Moore's first debut feature film. He's a German director, and this is also produced by Sam Remy. Now, guess who is related to Alexander? That's right. His younger brother, Bill Skarsgård, is in this film, and he plays a very good role. He plays a, a deaf mute in this. But the story is this. Somehow he got rescued by a guy in the jungle where he lives. And over years, he trained him to fight, uh, to take revenge for his family because he tells him that his family has been killed by this particular woman. Now, this woman, she is a, uh, well, from privilege. She has a, you know, she runs everything. They do murder. They, they do a whole lot of horrible things there in that vicinity of where they live. But throughout this training section and throughout his years, well, he keeps having this vision of his dead sister, Mina, which is played by Quinn Copeland. And... The boy, you know, he uh, keeps training over the years and over the years and over the years. Now, this is his trainer. And for many years, he's been telling him, you got to take revenge on this family because they killed your family. You got to take revenge on them. Now, I will admit, there's a lot of violence and, and, and things like that in this film, a lot of blood in this film, those type of films I like. But I just felt that, well, this film had too much at one point. I got a little bit bored with some of the fighting and the blood and things like that. And this also tries to be a comedy or has humor in it. And some of it is. Now, the action and fight person is David Skrykowski. And he did a very good job with a lot of the moves. Some moves I've never seen before, some I have. But... This is a very violent, good action film with some comedy in it. Now, Bill Sky, Skyguard, he did a very good uh, acting as the deaf and mute assassin. You know, he's built and he's in great shape. And for him to start fighting, well, he decided that for himself. They didn't have no real big plan on what to do and things like that. Now, there are two twists in this film that you was, you say you never saw. Uh, some of you might say that. I saw it. And one twist, I didn't see at all. So I was just surprised at this film. But like I said, there's a lot of violence in this, a lot of fighting. Remember the Kung Fu, old Kung Fu movies that where they fought for? One, two guys that fought for 25 minutes and you got bored with that. That's, some of that is in here where it's constantly fight, 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 which is okay. I like this type of film, but again, some of it did get tedious and it did get kind of boring. But I like this film. I really enjoy this film, Boy Kills World. Also in this film too, you got uh, Andrew Koji and you got Isaiah Mustafa in this film too as a couple of the fighters. And you, you got the Van de Corp family and things like that in this film. This film might remind you of a few films. As you look at this film, it doesn't really feel original, but it does feel good to watch. But I'm only going to give it three palm trees out of four because I like that type of action. I like that type of killing. And I like the way it ended. And I like the couple of twists that they tried to do in this film. And I feel that the director, yeah, did a pretty good job for his debut movie, full movie. Boy Kills World, three palm trees for me, Al McGee here, whyeticket.com. Hey, thanks for watching this video review, and don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate it. This is your entertainment ticket, latest and greatest movie reviews.